Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Anish Anand from DJ Training Academy, New Delhi, India, and today we'll be discussing about how to get rid of uh, unwanted background sounds whenever you record any uh, samples or you're doing recording. You, you're recording on mic, and uh, you get that unwanted uh, noise sounds or unwanted clicks um, that gets recorded into your feed. I'll be using a software called Audacity. Uh, that's a wave editor. That's the audio editing software. Uh, and it lets you uh, edit the uh, audio in many, many ways. You can uh, you can uh, make fade in, fade outs. You can amplify your sounds. You can add bass and trebles. You can um, audio uh, duct uh, your sound. You can do many things of uh, in uh, Audacity. And how to incorporate that software into Ableton Live, that's what I would be telling you in this video. So, let's open Ableton Live. Uh, so, to demonstrate this, I have recorded a small clip in my studio with the fan on. And uh, while I'm speaking, there is a fan sound, very constant, unwanted noise sound that is coming out from my uh, ceiling fan. Uh, so let me show you this. I'm, I'm grabbing a video clip onto my Ableton Live. So that's this clip. Let, let's have a listen to it. Hey, what's up? Can you hear the sound? That's the sound of my uh, ceiling fan. Yeah, so that's that's the sound we're going to get rid of. So that's the clip. And as you heard that uh, there is an unwanted uh, noise kind of a sound behind. So we'll be editing this. Double click on the clip. This clip will open into uh, a clip view editor uh, below. And uh, inside the sample section, click on edit. I have incorporated my uh, Audacity software into the editing part of uh, uh, Ableton Live as I use this uh, Audacity uh, software very, very often. So uh, just to demonstrate this, if you open a uh, video file, the audio of the video file, this will give you a prompt window, error window that will say, that this audio is an advanced audio coding file without the optional FFME MPEG library. Audacity cannot open this type of file. Otherwise, you need to convert it to a supported audio format such as WAV or AIFF. Now, what does this mean? Uh, technically, uh, you need some, I don't know, coding file or something like that to open this audio of the video file. So, what we're going to do is we're going to convert this file into a WAV and will export it onto our desktop. Let's press OK, close the Audacity software. We'll be saving this uh, uh, only the audio part onto our desktop. So we'll go into uh, file, we go into the Ableton live menu, click on file, click on export, export audio video. Check out your export audio video settings as per your preference. Mine is fine. So I'll click on export and this will export the audio to my desktop. So I need to uh, name the file. I'll just name it as a uh, noise test and uh, click on desktop and save it. Save the file. All right, so what I'll do next is I'll delete this uh, audio video file from Ableton Live and will drag the uh, exported WAV format file onto the Ableton again. So now this time I have the audio. We'll go to the uh, uh, sample section into the clip view editor, click on edit. And this will open the audio clip on to the Audacity software. Now, to reduce, to get rid of that uh, noise sound, <coughs> we need to select that part 
in which we have that unwanted element for example if i'll click here i can see this part and this part has those noise let's check this out see this is the part and this is the part as i can see more wave graph here so i would get the more uh, noise frequencies in this uh, part of the sample so what i'll do is i'll select the sample just click it and drag it until how much you want to feed these frequencies into the audacity go on to in uh, effect and click noise see as i told you there are so many things that you can do in this uh, wave editor software audacity you can repair you can uh, f uh, use phaser you can add reverb you can reverse a clip uh, fade in fade out echo distortion compressor many things okay so back to the topic uh, we'll be using uh, noise reduction just click on noise noise reduction now uh, as soon as you click on the noise reduction you get a pop up windows that says that there are two steps that you need to go through to reduce your noise first is you need to feed in the amount of frequencies the uh, the right uh, sound to the software so that he, uh, the software can recognize what kind of uh, the voice the sound the software needs to compress down so we're gonna be clicking this first get noise profile so as soon as we click on this the software has grabbed this part of the uh, sample as the uh, aim to uh, reduce the uh, noise from uh, the same uh, sound we're gonna be then be selecting our clip the whole clip or the part of the clip um, you want to you know uh, reduce the noise from so what i'll do is i'll i'll, I'll just uh, i'll i'll not be selecting the whole clip i'll select the uh, first part that's this and then we go into effect again we again go to noise reduction and now we'll going we'll be going on to the step 2 thing uh, in the step 2 there are three things first is noise reduction that is the noise that we have selected for the software to reduce second is the sensitivity sensitivity is uh, as per my experience the it is it works like a resonance uh, same resonance that it works in uh, a filter section or a synth section uh, this works as the point that squeezes off the unwanted parts in the samples and the third is frequency uh, smoothing bands all right these are the uh, eq bands that gives us a, a nice uh, smooth curves uh, towards your noise so that it gives you it it gives you a very subtle um, uh, out curves uh, for your sound so for this what we'll do is um, let us uh, increase my noise reduction to 20 and sensitivity to 2 i guess and frequencies 10 uh, okay let's preview this first hey what's up can you hear the sound that's the sound of my uh, ceiling fan uh it was okay uh, i was not able to hear the uh, noise in this but i was hearing that flanger kind of a thing so what i'll do is i'll increase the sensitivity a little bit so that it it uh, releases a little bit of main vocals to my sample a little bit of more vocals to my sample so what i'll do is i'll go for the sensitivity and i'll decrease the noise reduction to 30 and uh and let me uh, decrease it decrease my frequency soothing to eight all right let's now listen to it hey what's up can you hear the sound that's the sound of my uh, ceiling fan 
no i guess i'll increase the noise reduction a little bit it is too much it is uh, actually i'm able to hear that uh, very very I, my thickness of the vocals has gone so i'll let's check out with uh, noise reduction 15 hey what's up can you hear the sound that's the sound of my uh, ceiling fan all right perfect i think uh, this is great let me um uh decrease my sensitivity to 3 and just let me check with the frequency smoothing of 10 hey what's up can you hear the sound that's the sound of my uh ceiling fan perfect uh i loved it so i'll press okay now to save the sample you need to save the sample first of all outside the ableton because you need to replace that new uh, the old sample with the new sample so uh, you will just simply go to file and export and export as wave a uh, new test wave uh, towards the desktop yes and as soon as you press this save and this will show you a warning that a file named of the same name already exists you need to replace that as soon as you press yes press okay you have replaced the old file to new close the audacity save changes to noise test click on no and after some time see in the ableton just click on this you have a new clip you have a new click with the edited version let's check out the new clip hey what's up can you hear the sound that's the sound of my uh, ceiling fan see the part which we edited has no noise and other parts of the clip has the same noise so just to give you an idea we'll just check this again hey what's up can you hear the sound that's the sound of my uh, ceiling fan yeah so that's so that was it and uh, okay now the second part is how you can incorporate your um, uh, editing software into ableton so simply you need to go into the ableton live uh, click on live click on preferences to open the preferences window shortcut is command plus comma click on preferences as soon as your preferences is open i actually forgot where is that just give me yeah it's in file and file and folder uh into the sample editor just click on browse as soon as you click on browse go to your applications and you can select your applications uh your editor applications uh into this uh where is the audacity 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 oh my god where is that uh, okay i'll find it here audacity application okay it's there i'll select this i'll open this and boom that's it it's done so whenever you click on the uh double click on your clips in the sample section as soon as you click on edit audacity opens with the sample you want to edit on to so that was a small knowledge that i wanted to share with you all uh once again if you like this video it's a very simple and a clear video and um, you need to just subscribe my youtube channel and click on that bell icon below so that whenever i upload new videos i come up with some new ideas with new videos with new tutorials on youtube you get all the notifications in your mailbox so uh, till the next time see you soon and please stay at home stay safe don't go out without any mask until and unless it's really really necessary it's a lockdown period you know covid 19 has screwed everyone so please be safe take care i'll see you in my next video bye bye see you